Our devotional today is from the first epistle of St. Peter, chapter 5, verses 8 to 11. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. There are spiritual evil forces that are seeking every opportunity to harm, hinder, and separate us from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. St. Peter describes the devil as a furious lion who is looking around seeking for any believer in Christ to devour and slaughter him. This warning shouldn't scare or bother us, but makes us always be alert, sober, and be aware of everything that goes around us. It makes us realize that we are in a constant need of the discernment of the Holy Spirit to everything we hear or any event that goes on around us. The devil does send his people to gather any information about us. He's not like God omniscient, so he can only observe and gather information from what his people see or hear. He can target our vulnerabilities and weaknesses, hoping to sow seeds of doubt, fear, and disencouragement. That's why we are in constant war with him. He always attacks us with negative thoughts that mess with our minds. His aim is always to doubt Christ, the Son of God and break our faith and unity with him. He also wants to weaken the unity of the body of Christ, that's to say the church. He sends his evil spirits to look out for any open doors they can exploit, like an unrepentant sin or unguarded soul. But let me tell you that he has no power over us or access to our heart, except if we open our minds and hearts to his thoughts and accept to hear him and obey him. It's very crucial to be on guard because he can exploit our weaknesses and unguarded areas in our lives. We shouldn't fear those evil spirits if we are clothed in the armor of Jesus overcoming and victorious power over them. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, defeated the devil and all his evil forces on the cross. He gave us his authority and power in his name. So we must resist him and be steadfast in the faith. May the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after we have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle us. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen.